So if there's any lesson to be had from uh, this week's episode, it's uh, save early, save often, back up that save so you don't lose your file. In this week's episode, we're going to talk about TR1 expressions and searching using the index search and the pattern that I was going to use for today's video, I couldn't find. So I had to rewrite it tonight. So we're getting a late start, but I think this feature is a useful one and worth the time. Welcome to FTK Feature Focus. Welcome back to FTK Feature Focus. I'm Justin Tolman. I'm the director of training here at Xtero. And today we're going to go over the tier one searching in the index search tab. And as an introduction to that, what is TR1? Well, it's just the pattern searching specifically for the index search. So fortunately, you can use regular expressions and migrate them over into the index search with some minor tweaks and double those up. So let's get into it. So here we are on the index search tab to view the TR1 expressions. You click on the little white arrow button here and you have the list. Now, similar to the live search pattern search, which uses regular expression, we can come down and click edit expressions. It's going to open up tr1list.ini. The tr one thing I would do, which I didn't do, is back up the tr1list.ini file. You can transfer this file between installs of FTK. Because what will happen is if you reinstall FTK, the tr1list.ini file will be overwritten and anything you've saved in here will be lost. But you can back that up, drop it back in, and it's good to go. That file is located, let's pop up the window, in local disk C, program files, access data, forensic tools, 7.4 is the current version. So if you update to a new version, but basically version number bin, and then you scan down till you find tr1list.ini, back that up, sync it with your cloud drive, whatever, so that you have that. And that way you can keep updating that list. And then when you install the next version of FTK or something like that, you can bring that file back down, just overwrite this one, and then you have all your stuff in. So one that we will look at today that you can, just shown that you can add one in is searching for money values. And this is a fairly specific pattern. Again, I had to rewrite one, and so I just made it work, but it can be and get a lot more complicated, of course, based on whatever pattern you need. So this is basically going to search our data set for money. The format for saving TR1 expressions inside this document is simply any title you want to create like this here, we comment out. The hashtag or pound symbol is the comment uh, feature, the comment syntax. Okay. And so I created this section and then money is the name that will appear in the list. And then you put an uh, equal sign and then everything after that is the TR1 expression. Now, TR1 expressions differ from regular expression in that one, they need to be surrounded by double quote. You see the double quotes here. And then of course, in the, uh, the other ones here that come with FTK. And then also they will have this pound pound or hashtag hashtag, whichever way you roll uh, in front of it. And then it's just a regular expression. Okay. So yeah, save it in there, save the file and you're good to go to apply that. Now we just hit the white arrow. We find our TR1 expression that we want to run money. In this case, it comes in. What's going to happen when you enter in a pattern search is when you enter it into the terms search box there, it's going to run the search. Okay so that when you click add, it can show you the results. Don't get too alarmed if you have a large index, a large case. If it takes a minute to chug through your index right then when you put it in, okay? So we click add just as we would a search and we'll search now, include all files and we're gonna expand this out and we can see our hits and a bunch of listed money 
here in the Excel sheet, the ledger, okay? And we can break out our specific hits and we see that our hits are down the middle, showing the context of them. One resource that's available on the internet to help you in writing regular expressions that I like is regex101.com. You can insert your regular expression and build it in this line. And down here, you can have your test data. Okay, so you can enter that information in there. And then over here, it's going to give a breakdown of what's happening and if it's being successful. So with a jump cut, we paste our stuff in here and we see our test string, uh, just the first one here in the document. And then we've built out our uh, regular expression. And then over here, it breaks down the different groups that it's gonna bring back. And then the whole match at the top is gonna be the top level group. If in this case, like I did, you surround the whole thing in a parenthesis, creating a group for the whole thing. If you want a classroom type experience in learning how to write regular expressions, our FTK 301 class, we spend an entire day on learning how to write regular expressions, both for the live search and for the index search. It's really helpful in searching this sort of thing. One of the cool things about being in the class is that throughout the history of us teaching regular expression and bringing this up in our searches, people in the class will bring up, hey, I have this, this case that we work. We work with a lot of VIN numbers, for example, on automobiles. And so did I just say automobiles? That's what they are. Uh, okay. Uh, and how, how do we write one for that? Here's the patterns that we see. And so as a class, we can get together and build them. It's really fun, really cool. And so if you're interested in that, FTK 301. And also if you're one of our learning pass holders, make sure to check your email, check your student dashboard. We're going to be throwing up pass holder only courses available to you guys, exclusive things like a, the deep dive into regular expressions. We have SQL Lite coming up and a bunch of other things dealing with policies and filters and different stuff that we're going to be offering only to pass holders. And that can help you uh, take a deeper dive into these types of forensics. So be on the watch for that showing up in the passes very soon. Last week, we talked about reporting our index search returns. And I showed a way to get into Sheets. If you didn't like this breakdown, this granular report, I showed you in Sheets how to kind of group that up into that information where it would say, okay, this search for this many hits in a shorter list. And my way required Sheets, and that's because I needed that unique function um, to, to work it. And then I asked, hey, if anybody knows uh, a way to do it in Excel, that'd be awesome. Justin, not me, reached out and shared a file with us. So I'll demo that here and then we'll make the download link available in the description as soon as we have it uploaded and shareable. One thing you need to know about Excel is that it uses VB, all right? Visual Basic and you will have to bring in the Visual Basic code into your sheet in order to execute this. So what you will do is go into developer and open up Visual Basic. And then we're going to click file, import file, and then we'll get the build file hits table.bas. We got, you gotta click on it, click open, and then it's brought in, click save and close the Visual Basic. St while still on the developer tab, go to macros and you can see the build file hits table, go ahead and run that. And it's gonna generate those hits right in Excel. You saw how fast that went, it's awesome. So whether you use Justin's script here in VB or you use Justin's script on Sheets, that's not confusing at all. One way or the other, you can get the output that you want if you don't want the granular output that FTK generates on its own. That will be today's video. I hope you learned something new, something that you can apply. And then also remember that we'll be at Techno this year in June with a class. So hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. Again, uh, the Access Data channel is dead. So subscribe to this channel if you wanna get these weekly updates. Have a good week. We'll see you later.